All right, this video is about how to evaluate trig functions, find the values for those trig functions from using their unit circle, and focusing only on the positive angle aspect of it. Okay? So let's talk about this. We did lots of triangles when we built our unit circle. And for instance, we built this triangle right here. Okay? And we said this point right here was x distance away and y distance vertically, and that gives us the coordinate of x, y. All right, so when you think of sine, cosine, and tangent, you're going to need to begin to think about sine as x or y, cosine as x or y. And let's talk about this. This is the y value is the opposite of theta, x value is the adjacent to theta. And on our unit circle, remember our radius is always 1. So if I evaluate the sine of theta, I get y over 1. If I evaluate the cosine of theta, I get x over 1, adjacent over hypotenuse, opposite over hypotenuse. So what you need to realize is that the sine of theta is really just the y value, and that the cosine of theta is really just the x value at that angle. Okay, so you don't have to do a lot of work, you just realize the connection between sine and y, cosine and x. Now tangent's a little trickier because it is the y divided by the x. So you have to take whatever y value it is, and divide it by the x, and that'll give you a real number answer. And you'll see what I mean as I walk through these. But this slide is basically to catch, you, get you caught up to this idea right here, that sine of theta is always the y-coordinate, cosine of theta is always the x-coordinate, tangent of theta is the y-coordinate divided by the x-coordinate. Because, just like in this triangle, it's opposite over adjacent, right? Okay. So refer back to this if you can't remember y, sine is y, y, cosine is x, and tangent is y over x. All right, so let's do this, okay? So the, end, the problem says find the sine, cosine, and tangent for the given angle. Well, here's the angle theta. It's pi over 3. So I look at the pi over 3 angle right here, right? And here's my x-coordinate. Here's my y-coordinate. Now, we said on the last slide, we said that sine is your y-coordinate. So I'm just going to look. What's the y-coordinate? Well, it's square root of 3 over 2. That is the sine at pi over 3. Cosine is the x-coordinate. So what's the x-coordinate? It's just 1 half. So to find tangent, I have to take the square root of 3 and divide it by 1 half. Okay? Now remember our rules when we divide fractions. We keep the top, switch it to multiplication, and flip the bottom. So I'm going to flip it over. And when I multiply across, I get the square root of 3 over 1. So my tangent is the square root of 3. And that's all there is to finding sine, cosine, and tangent at an angle on the unit circle. Let's try another one. Find sine, cosine, tangent for the given angle at 7 pi over 6. So look at your unit circle and find the angle 7 pi over 6. Okay, it's right here. Okay, 7 pi over 6. So sine, we said, is the y-coordinate. So it's negative 1 half. Cosine is the x-coordinate. So it's negative square root of 3 over 2. Tangent is the y divided by the x. All right, so I take a negative 1 half, multiply, keep it, change it to multiplication, flip the bottom over, negative 2 over the square root of 3. Now I multiply. Well, a negative times a negative makes it positive. 1 times 2 is 2 over 2 square roots of 3. Now I have to rationalize this. So square root of 3, square root of 3, 2 square roots of 3 over, this will be 2 times 3, so that's over 6. That reduces to 3. So the tangent is the square root of 3 over 3. All right, this last one takes it a little bit further. It says find all six trig ratios for the angle. So you start exactly where we've been before, okay? Pi over 2 is also known as 90 degrees. Remember that coordinate is 0, 1, all right? So, just like before, sine is your y-coordinate. So what's the y-coordinate? It's a 1. Cosine is the x. x-coordinate is 0. Tangent is y over x. So I do 1 over 0. Anytime you have a 0 in the bottom, it is undefined. So I put a u for undefined. All right. Cosecant, if you remember, is the reciprocal of sine. So if I have 1 over 1 and I flip it over, I still have 1. Secant is the reciprocal of cosine. So what I have here is 0 over 1. If I flip that over, I now have 1 over 0. But guess what? That's the same thing as undefined. 
All right, over here we had one over zero, right? But if we flip it over to get the cotangent, I now have zero over one. Zero over anything is just zero. So one thing I want to point out is what are the reciprocals of, what's the reciprocal of zero? That's undefined. And vice versa, what's the reciprocal of undefined? It is zero. Hopefully that makes sense. If not, ask me in class and we'll go over it again. But now I found all six trig ratios, okay? Now, I want you to try this one on your own. 5 pi over 4, this angle over here, I want you to find all six trig ratios, and we'll check this when you get to class. Good luck, and see you tomorrow.